Hi guys and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make flyable pelicans and flyable phantoms. In addition I'm going to also show you guys how to just place down a elephant on a map because I know some of you have been asking about that. Before we start I just want to give a shout out to Green Knight for helping me out with this. Now let's start off with the elephant. If you open up your scenario go to objects, units, vehicles, now you want to click edit types, add, and you want to go up a few folders to the tags folder, go under objects, levels, multi, shrine, behemoth, and select the behemoth.vehicle. Now click done, click OK, and let's just right click over here, and we can set that to behemoth, and rotate that. And there you go. So now let's get into the Phantom and the Pelican. So first off, let's go and click Edit, Add, and in our Vehicles folder, we can see at the bottom here, you'll see Pelican, double click Pelican.Vehicle, go up the folder, go into the Phantom folder, and double click Phantom.Vehicle. Now click Done and OK. Let's create two more points for our vehicles. Let's change this middle one here to a phantom and let's change the last one here to a pelican. You'll notice the pelican falls through the floor right away. That's fine for now. The next thing I'm going to want to do is open up Gorilla. So with Gorilla open, you want to open up your tags folder, go to objects, vehicles, and let's start off with the pelican first. So open up the pelican folder and select the pelican.physics model. Now with this open, we're going to fix it from falling to the floor. So to do that, you want to scroll down a bit until you see materials. Now, under proxy collision group, you want to change that from machine to none. The pelican only has one material, so that's all we need to do. So now hit control S and let's see our changes back in Sapien. So here in Sapien, it's already gone through the floor here, but if I lift it, you should see it fall, and now it has collision. You can see here, the Phantom is still incorrect. To make things a little easier, we can open up both Gorilla and Sapien at once, and make changes in Gorilla that will reflect in Sapien. So to do that, you want to navigate to your main folder where both programs are located, and then open up both of them. Once you do that, we can close out of the physics model for Pelican. And now let's open up the Pelican.vehicle. Let's close out of the Explorer view for now. And let's just put Gorilla on the left half of our screen and keep Sapien on the right half, kind of like this. We can in increase our game window here because we won't be making changes within Sapien. We're just using it as a visual indicator. Here we are under the pelican.vehicle in Gorilla on the left, and let's scroll down until we see seats. So here we are under seats, and there's some flags that we're going to want to change here. The first is to disable invalid for player. Now what we want to do is make some modifications for the entry marker name and the label. For the entry marker name, you just want to write Pelican D. You can just copy and paste it from the label or the marker name. The next thing you're going to want to do is change the name of the label. Replace the word Pelican with Warthog. So now that we've done that, we could just save right here in Gorilla, and then we can click here in Sapien, and let's go up to the Pelican, and you won't get anything that says you're allowed to enter. If you hold E on your keyboard, there you go. You can now enter the pelican and you can fly it. Cool. So now let's start off with the phantom. So for the phantom, we're going to want to open up the physics model first. In Gorilla here, let's just open up your explorer bar again. We can minimize the pelican and then open up the phantom folder and double click on phantom.physics model. All right, so let's just actually make this a little bigger here and get this set up correctly. 
Let's close out of the pelican dot vehicle and let's make this window bigger. And for now, all we're going to be doing is making the collision work. So let's scroll down a bit until we see materials. Let's make this bigger. And you're going to see the Phantom has multiple materials. The only one that you're going to want to change is the hard metal thick. Change that proxy collision group from machine to none. Now you could save and we'll see the changes reflected in Sapien. So let's click on our Sapien window. You can see now the Phantom sits properly. Let's go back into Gorilla and close out our physics.model and let's go under the Phantom dog vehicle. Now let's close out of our Explorer view and make this side by side again, just like that. So here, you want to scroll down a bit again until you see seats. Under seats, you're going to want to make sure that invalid for player is not checked. Let's also turn on gunner and in brackets player only. This is slightly different now than the pelican. For the label, you want to change it to warthog instead of phantom and keep the underscore D but for the marker name and entry marker names, change us to chin underscore gun. And you could just copy that and paste it here. Now let's hit control S and go back in to our game window in Sapien. Cool, so you can see here, I'm able to fly it. And since we enabled that other flag, we could actually shoot with it too. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. And thanks for watching guys, and there'll be more coming soon.